I'm showing you from here, then I can take it off and then something like that. Then. So I'll take it down like this and uh, create this. Yeah, so that is um, what we want. So I can take it down like this and then um, first um, copy, duplicate rather, then I can move it to the back. Then I'll take this one inside a little bit, little bit, little, little, little bit, to something like that. So that is exactly what I want. So I, I'm gonna select this one, then shift select this one, then I can go to mesh and um, say um, difference. So you can see now we have um, a particular um, stop inside. So I can actually now select this guy, then take it back. It should still work. So now I think I'm cool. So I can bring this guy back out. This will be uh, more like uh, um, so um, this is like um, the glass or the screen uh, let me call it screen so um, it's just gonna be here and I, I think um, yeah yeah pretty much all I have to create to create webcam actually uh, that is pretty 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 easy so uh, I've duplicated the screen and I can take it up and then um, just scale something like a this something like this and then um, just now scale it uniformly and then I, I can take it like this now I can now bring it down so I'm just gonna bring it down here to the center um, kind of like that so let's zoom in and um, I can make it perfect squirrel then um, to this um, to have it like that yeah think that's what I want now I can now say um, yeah duplicates and um, print this one out first then um, this man here select this one shift select this then say um, boolean and difference so I think I have it now so this will be um, my sorry that is too much little bit and um, this will be the cover of the lens um, kind of like that so but then inside I'm gonna I'm still gonna have something which is um more like um so um the the lens itself so uh, this I will rotate it about 90 then I can move it up but then looking at it from um, the front view um, this is my front view so I can take it to that center there and then zoom in and um, I can just get it in then readjust it to be inside inside of my squirrel um, like that something like that so um, I can now say um, create a bow now and um, take this one also up and then um, I can scale it, um, rotate it, and um, say scale it down to let me zoom uh, like uh, move it like that. Then okay. Uh, so if I want to move it in shift and um, sorry, I'm gonna press D and shift and V so that this thing can be at the center. What am I doing? T and um, shift. Nah, that is not what I wanted to do. I just press V alone and it's at the center already. Um, then I can scale it down to something like that. Something like that. So what I am going to do now is... Um, okay, I think I have issue with this thing now. So I can now... Let's say it's there. And... Um, and um, this would eat this up and then um, this um, shift this and um, see um, difference like uh, that now this can now go inside of it like so and um, say think that's what i want 
so now i can select the two together and say um combine and i, I can now take it back inside of my um camera okay it's 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 giving me some kind of attitude now so i just select the whole vertex here then take it inside you too have vertexes so i can select your all vertexes or even i can um, say um face sorry let's go to this point select this man and say faces and then can delete the faces here so now um i think i am cool now i'm cool inside of this man here we can see that some kind of um you know um the webcam is there so that is all what we need i think we are done now we have the glass or the screen and now we have our pc pretty much all what we need now the next thing now is um let's say um the next thing now is um okay uv map uv mapping and i'm creating our own um uv texture ourselves so you know um before we go down there we can actually just um you know um hard material to this laptop now um i can hide the visibility to this and um, i'll have my laptop just um as, as beautiful as it is but now there is something that should you know um work um on on uh, on this side that i've forgotten to hard so i need to bring it back here like this and um go to say um create some um, this and um, can rotate it like this then say 90 then i can take it down to the side and um, zoom in then scale it down i'm sorry if i'm too fast um you have to just you know take it back then um, if you're missing anything you just have to you know um, um stop it and um, get it um, clearly before you move on or whatever you want to do you know if you, want, if you know what i'm saying so now now th the next thing now is um to actually um select the whole thing here like the whole thing here and say um group yes yes let's see the group now this is the group this is my group now so um i have the whole thing grouped so i can call it um screen and um uh, the, the next thing now is say um okay um i want to go to this whole thing here and then uh, no, no 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 it's just going to be the buttons i mean the keyboard so i can shift and unselect this so i have the keyboards alone so i can say ctrl g to group them and i can say keyboard do a lot on that so i'm just going to leave it that way um ctrl d and just move it to the other side just to have um some kind of you know um that thing that we need there so i'm sorry about the noise it's um uh, this is a studio some other people make something like a film so somebody is calling a film uh, music to a film so that is why the noise is coming from everywhere so i'm sorry about that so where were where were we okay so uh, i have to hide uh, this one now the visibility now so i think i am cool now because uh, i've actually grouped uh, the whole things now so just the power button and um, the i don't know what do you call this i, I don't know so and um, the whole board here so that's just the way i want to have my thing so uh, i think i have the keyboards here uh, that is fine that is actually what we're looking for now i've grouped the whole thing um in separate ways so that if i want to texture the whole thing i can easily know the group w in which one belongs to if you get what i'm saying so um now i know the the, the, the bird here and um this um the body here they will have the same material and um, the material i want to give them is um anode okay we're using anode and um, air standard surface give it air standard material then i can adjust it to whatever i want 
so I think this is good now so I can actually now just say I want to um, um, say I want to okay uh, before I move on um, I have this guy here so I can call it um, computer or let's say comp underscore body um, now let's say I want to give this same guy the same thing the same thing comp body so that is it usually this two guys two will also have the same thing and um, so I can easily just um, select the two and say GG um, this two will have that these and these only the button and um, this um, mirror here and this one will have different material but, but before I move on now um, let's say I want to render this and see what we have here so I can um, select this guy and um, move it to the side and um, uh, before I move on I can go to poly modeling and take with plain so I don't want the enough faces I've, I've enough faces already so I'm just gonna say um, like so so now I can go to vendor and say um, area lights and um, bring this up and um, let's see you can actually just say like so so Ctrl D and say um back to zero um and this should be ninety and I'm gonna move it to the side and then then turn it around to face the look at it from the side and see if it is actually um, this is where I want it to be and then go into the front yes exactly what I want so now I can um, now select this guy like this and see what we have now so I'm gonna go to this point and say render okay this is what we have um, we've rendered it but this is what we get um, I can now say attribute editor and um, I can increase the intensity to a drastic level so something like that you can see it's coming alive so this man also you can say um, 200 okay I have um, okay I have this guys now so you can go to exposure let's go to exposure so going to exposure I can increase the exposure and uh, you can see we having something same thing coming alive if you know what I'm saying so exposure so that is where I'm gonna stop now then we come back for um, the you know the the other things um, it's shining uh, uh, this is exactly what I want but now I can actually um, I can um, let's say I go to light and say sky doom light is a uh, yeah yeah light is too much I know I know I'm gonna change it now sorry about that but I just want you to get the concept of what I'm trying to you know say now so uh, the light is too much but we can see there is um, some reflection and it's actually making it look more realistic than um, what we had all the time so it's selecting the sky dome um, light it can um, let me see if I have um, HDRI image so we're just gonna give that so let's see what we have now um, okay so now uh, I think now we have something better something better I, I, at least we can see some transparency and um, and cool so um, we can um, put it like this so don't worry about the whole thing here I can actually just uh, 
will take the old thing like this. Oops, no, don't do that. Don't do that. So at least uh, we are halfway done. Actually, we are halfway done. I can, I don't like where this thing is. Uh, let's check it here. So, okay. Okay. So, that is what we want. No, no. Okay, enough of um the taking taking around taking around. Let's move on. I know the reflection is too much. We can still work on that actually. So um let's move on to uh UV texturing. So that is what we are going to do right now. So uh 